We're an organic grower. Um, when we put a plan in place at the beginning of the year, um, it's an organic growth plan. And then we budget, you know, four, six hundred million dollars in acquisitions and we underspend. We've underspent every year but one. When I, when I lay out a plan, I say, first give me the organic growth plan. And it needs to be double digit. And then we can add inorganic on top of it. Because in the service business, I find you really have to protect against people thinking they're just going to grow through acquisition. Because then you lose the plot on the core. And if your core can't grow, you should be fixing it and not trying to buy the growth somewhere else. We sell solutions, big complex solutions, and we need assets for our stack. And whether the stack has to do with smart grid, whether it has to do with medical technology, whether it has to do with big data um, in you know, certain different dimensions, whether it has to do with supply chain, um, we're looking for assets because in the service business there is no leverage unless you have assets. And so we're, we have sort of a new push, as many big integrators do, to acquire more underlying assets that can be part of our solution sets. You know, what the George Group did was, you know, they sort of lived our roots. And so, you know, they were able to come in, and, and importantly, um, come in and take a leadership role in the firm, right? I mean, we gave them our stuff. We didn't take them and put them in our thing. And we said, all right, you guys, for this area of our work, Six Sigma, productivity, manufacturing efficiency, all that, you know, you write the playbook. You figure out how to leverage now this new collection of assets and take it to the next level. And, you know, to this day, um, um, leaders from that still have very prominent places um, of leadership in the firm. Culture is a big thing with us. You know, we're a we're a real cultural animal. Um, if we, I mean, we can tell you if there's going to be organ rejection from you know five miles away. Right? <laughs> um, but but the George Group fit. Um, it was in services, which made it easier for us to understand each other. And yet, it was incredibly hard for them. Because, like, no one wants to meet our HR people, right? <laughs> I mean, this is, like, there's nothing worse than a little company, you know, walking into H an HR operation that serves over 200,000 people. Like, you just say, how does this stuff work and why? And so, we've had to be thoughtful about wrapping some of them in cotton and uh, you know getting some of our own our own things out of the way mm -hmm. and uh, I think that was part of it but mostly the reason the George group worked is those guys were individually excellent and if there's one thing that's of, that Accenture values it's competence and talent right been there done that experience and that is worth more to us than money. And our people are proud. And all we expect our partners or, you know, someone we acquire is to be as good at what they do as we think we are at what we do. It's just that simple.